We got the Baltimore Ravens, Cincinnati Bengals, Cleveland Browns, Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers are a joke. Let's get that out the way right now. I doubt they do anything. I would be very, very surprised. Ravens are going to win this division. The Baltimore Ravens will win the AFC North. And it's going to be tough to do. But I'm giving confidence in the Baltimore Ravens because obviously we know they won last year. And each time between the Ravens and the Bengals, whenever they've won one, they've won two. And it sounds crazy, but both times the Bengals have won the division, they went back to back. And then, but the years before that, when the Ravens won the division, they went back to back. So because the Ravens won last year, I'm just convinced that they're going to go back to back and go ahead and win this division of 2023 and 2024. Now, it's going to be tough, not going to be easy, because clearly they're evenly talented teams. We talk about the Ravens and the Bengals, both have great quarterbacks, both control the offense uh, in, in dynamic ways and just have great plays that they can explode on. Like, I, I love both of these teams. It's going to be great football all around, but... I think if I had to put my faith in it, I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, they were just really, really hot last year. Obviously, we know they added Derrick Henry. He's going to be a help, but I don't think it'll be much different than what we've seen last year from the Ravens, simply because they were already dominant last year. Um, as far as the Bengals, health was really the main factor for them of why we didn't see them thrive at all. Um, if they were healthy, we could have been looking at a completely different division winner last year in the AFC North. But Joe Burrow got hurt. You had uh, uh, Jamar Chase. He got hurt for a minute. Joe Mixon was out in and out for a second. So you had a lot of people, key guys, who couldn't really play in the game that would have been very impactful. So it's going to be different. Going to be different. But I, th I think Bengals are going to be some close competition. And then let's slow the roll, too, because the Cleveland Browns, you know, they're a team here. They got a lot of potential, and Deshaun Watson is there. They got a great quarterback. They got the number one defense, had a number one defense last year. They, these, the Cleveland Browns are low-key solid, and, and this is a make-or-break year for them, but we know quarterback play has been a big issue. Of course, obviously, has been a big issue when Deshaun Watson has only played 12 games in two seasons, which is ridiculous. Six games apiece in the past two seasons. He's got to do better, and this is honestly going to be a make-or-break year for Deshaun Watson because he has to show people and he has to remind people that he is still that guy. We didn't see him when he played six games last year. He damn sure didn't look like he was that guy. And now... They have a legitimate shot at turning things around. They still got offensive pieces there. They still have all of their defensive pieces. So the Browns have a good team. Let's put that out in the open. They can compete with the Ravens. They can compete with the Bengals. But they're going to need their quarterback to play like the guy we thought he was and the guy we've seen in Houston. Because he ain't looked like that these past few years. So... Hey, I, I, I'll, I have hope for the Browns. I hope they do accomplish something. I hope they, you know, have some sort of a good season. But it'll still be interesting to see, you know, who really ends up coming up out of this division of the AFC North. This is probably the toughest division in all of football between the AFC North and the NFC North. Two of the toughest divisions in the NFL right now, for sure. But I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens to win the AFC North.